Welcome back to the Gun Collective. My name is John Patton. Boys and girls, we're out here at the range today at New Holland. Ben is behind me on the spotting scope. We've got the Howa 6mm bolt action. It's a 1500 in an MDT chassis. Up top, we have an inappropriately high mounted Night Force optic. People have been giving us crap about that. We bounce optics around between guns. This one happens to be Ben's scope, and we threw it on here today. But uh, let's get out here at some longer ranges. We shot the 100 yard stuff. We shot that in a different video. Today, we're worried about three and 500 yards. We've got the Hornady 108 grain ELD match. Got a bunch of ammo, got a bunch of targets up. Steel, paper, let's do it right now. Ben, are you ready? Coltac is no longer just making suppressor wraps and pouches. They're jumping headfirst into the precision rifle game with products like the Cuddle Bag, the Boss Bag, the Ammo Book, and the Rifle Handle. You pick the colors, they build the gear. And because you're awesome and you watch TGC, they're doing a special discount code for you. TGC 10 will get 10% off your entire order over at coltac.com. 300 left target. 300 left target. Dead center. <laughs> Should probably put a mag in the gun, huh? That's it for my first group. Guys, if you're noticing I'm um, being a little weird, the MDT mag, for whatever reason, does not want to seat properly. So we're trying out some mag pull mags today. They're not exactly ideal, so we're just kind of working with it today. All right, here we go. We're gonna go right hand target at 300 yards. Ben. Are those all touching? I'd say you, you and that gun get along. <laughs> That trigger is. I wasn't ready for that two stage. I wasn't ready, man. I wasn't ready. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> you threw your last one. Where was it? Touching. Man, you can. It's dead center. Threw it. You threw. You threw the last one. It's dead center in the plate. You threw it. <laughs> All right, my turn. All right, so I'm back on the gun after Ben kind of shot the lights out, and I've dialed a mill left to separate the groups. I'm gonna hold center, and uh, we'll see where the rounds impact and see if I can put down a decent group. Ben is getting some really good groups, so I'm just trying to keep up with him so far. All right, so that first one was off the edge. I've got four rounds. I'm gonna just see what I can it's do here. here. That one probably went a little right. All right, so center steel target. Five hundred yards, right hand paper. Five hundred, we're gonna shoot that piece of steel in the head. Nailed just off the right edge. Make it five. I gotta put that fifth one in there. Yeah, make it five. <laughs> Good shoot, man. <laughs> See what I gotta deal with, Izzy? <laughs> you heard that, I guarantee he's laughing. Let's target 500 yards. All right, here we go, on steel. Hold center? Yeah. I'm not happy with that last group I put down, so I'm gonna shoot five more at this little itty bitty hanger target out at 500. I guess 
all we need to do now is go take a look. Uh, ben and I have put a decent amount of ammo down range. You know, this ammo is not cheap, so we don't want to just pretend like we had to dump millions of rounds to get the accuracy we wanted. We saw some good results, and we're gonna go confirm that downrange. All right, here we are at 300 yards. Ben, how do you feel about your shooting? You shot a really nice group in there, and then kind of one that wasn't as good because you were having trouble seeing your point of aim, which is that top corner that I gave you. Yeah, that corner didn't really work well. You, you didn't like that corner? No, okay, yeah. so your first group, which was one here and then four here, was a 1.15 inch or 0.37 MOA at 300 yards. How do you feel about that? Oh, basically okay. a one inch group at 300, not 100. Yeah, I think this this is this might have been my first shot and that two stage. Yeah, you had four shots fall in there. Yeah. That's really, yeah, that is impressive. And then your other one was a 3.11 inch group, which equates to 0.99 MOA according to this. Yeah, I should have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> but still, yeah. but still single MOA under yeah. by a very slim margin. We should have solid. We should have just done what we did with yours. You just came a half a mil left. Yeah. yeah. And then shot your group again, same aiming point. But yeah, that, that corner not being so square. Forgiving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but whatever. It's still still MOA. Sure. I'm, I'm happy with that. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad, dude. I, I was I was really surprised how how well that thing shot. Let's keep it moving. Uh, we've got more to look at. So my first group would have been like kind of here-ish, and that equated to 2.45 inches or 0.78 MOA. Again, sub MOA accuracy under three inch group. And those were your first two shots. First two laid <laughs> yeah. right in there, and then I just kind of screwed it so all up. So I don't know up. if you started get, you started seeing it, and you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's a bad habit yeah. of mine, getting really everybody, excited. Everybody gets like that. Especially okay. when you put two close together to get yeah. on the first oh two shots. Oh my god, it's in the thing that I was aiming at. Yep. Yep. <laughs> all right, so then over here, still decent performance, 2.95 inch, and that equates to a .94 MOA, which is still sub MOA, excuse me, still sub MOA performance. Mm -hmm and impressive nonetheless uh, when you're just you know kind of throwing rounds at a random orange square at 200 yards let's move over to the steel which we both shot and shot some decent groups over there too which is all of this extra stuff on here it fragged when it hit oh that. yeah that's a good point to mention yeah. a lot of the marks you're seeing is because the steel is angled this direction yeah. uh, by some genius at some point so let's check those out so you shot this little itty bitty six inch plate at 300 yards. Any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, my, my hold was there. It's about as good as I'm gonna get. <laughs> okay, well, well that is a 2.11 inch okay. group okay. and that equates to 0.67 MOA. That's that's not bad at all. Still yeah. sub MOA performance. Which, which I could see this, but a lot better than that little orange dot. Right, right I, I think we've both had a lot better success with steel targets yeah. in general. Uh, let's check mine out here, we'll back up to the eight inch plate oh, so I don't fall off this little mound here. Uh, this one I shot was a one and a half MOA group, not as good. And that's it's simply because of this flyer here. And then we realized that this was not actually part of that. I was shooting over here and we adjusted and I, I shot four rounds and that equates to a two inch group, which is 0.64 MOA. So really this is again, a sub MOA group that just fell right into that eight inch steel. And I'm pretty pleased with it. And I mean, even if you count that one, it's still what, 1.2? MOA? It's one and a half. One and a half MOA. Okay, so yeah. So still not horrible. No. Even uh, with the one that you don't even want to count because that the other one hit over here on the sides, so then you adjusted and you shot the last one. Yeah, we adjusted and shot a solid group. So yeah. even with this wacky one over here, still really, really good. Let's go see what happened to 500 yards. So here we are, 500 yards. Ben, how did you shoot? Not too bad. I had this one flyer, which I knew right when I you shot it. You were upset it. about that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, it went off like over here. <laughs> So you were you were aiming here and you yeah. had this kind of smaller group and then one flyer. This as a whole, including that one, is 5.7, so 1.09 MOA with this, which be much, much smaller than that. How about your second group? Yeah, these these five were that was actually my first group and then that was my second okay, group. Okay, so back to your first group. Yep. That one measures at 3.67 or okay. 0.7 MOA. Alright, so under under five. Really, really solid. 
I, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this. Like consistently yeah. getting yep. good results here. So let's come down to this would have been my first group, yep. right? And that one measures at 3.97 or 0.76 MOA. Really good. I'm I'm certainly not the best yeah. shot out there. I'd be um, pleased with that. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm not as happy about this catastrophe. I um, I think I was just getting shaky. It's really cold out here. I would say that it's probably somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees right now. So it's chilly and uh, I think it was getting to me. That one measures at 10.15 or 1.94 MOA. This is by far the worst group of the day. So we're going to throw that out as an anomaly, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's... I had three these, shots stack in the middle yeah, and then, then through to, I don't, whatever, yeah, whatever. that's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, considering the rest of the performance. Then we shot some steel. Uh, you shot the man target yep. in the head. Yep. And that one was a 5.16 inch group, uh, 0.99 MOA. Okay. Then I shot the steel and that was an 8.93 group, 1.7 MOA. Not so great on the steel. Not really sure what we were doing. Um, you know, we're not going to make excuses yeah. for that. That's that is what it is. And then you shot the other the tiny piece of steel. Yeah, I wasn't happy with that. <laughs> yeah, you you said, "You know what? I'm going to put one more group down and your five shots measured at 4.13 or 0.79 okay. MOA." So, overall, we had some groups that were kind of eh and then we had a bunch of sub MOA performance with factory loaded 108 grain yep. ELD match from Hornady shooting these beautiful virtual Casey targets uh, use that Coltac bag you know we had we had some really good gear that we're using yep, yep. and uh, I don't know about you but I think for what that gun is it's a you know four to five hundred dollar action barreled action slammed into an MDT chassis um, you know, we'll call that a twelve to fifteen hundred dollar gun, and then of course the cost of the optic, which we're just not going to mention yeah. that because it's a night force. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's it's good value for money. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, when you start comparing it to guns that are also in that twelve to fifteen hundred dollar mark, like the Ruger Precision, you're not getting this kind of stuff out of the box, and you're certainly not getting a six millimeter. No, and you're not getting an action that's that smooth either. I think that has a pretty good smooth, smooth action on it. So what do you think about the 6 mil cartridge in general? I like that 6 millimeter Creed more. It harkens back to the 243 days, and I'm, I'm a big 243 guy. I love that cartridge. Cool. Uh, okay. So well, we've, we've actually got one of those we're working on. Yeah. The yeah. semi-auto kind of lightweight hunting thing. Yeah. That's for a future video. I can't wait to shoot that. that yeah, it's going to be fun. Be fun yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, this is a good good test for this gun too. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm really pleased. We've we shot so many groups out here, guys, and mm -hmm. you guys know this. We shot so many freaking groups and had some really lackluster performance. I mean, it wasn't that long ago we we're out here measuring Springfields <laughs> at 18-inch 18 18 groups inches. at this very spot. Yep. You know, here we are measuring three and four inch, and it was you know just gigunda, just yep. ridiculous groups. Um, so this is really, really positive groups. I am giving that six millimeter Howa action the TGC seal of approval. Ben, does it get yours? Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. Yeah, for the yeah. price, that's solid. Yeah, you can't, you can't beat it. Guys, uh, I think that's it for this one. Uh, we appreciate you watching, sticking around, going through the Proving Ground stuff with us. We appreciate all the feedback that you're giving us down in the comments section. If there's anything else that you want us to specifically test like this, uh, be sure to let us know. We'll see what we can get a hold of, and we'll see what we can put down range. That's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.